Now, another one we want to talk about is um, a lot of it's tied to uh, investigations, of course, and deviations in CAPAs. And in another company that I was heading up their quality unit, uh, we, I, I want you to think about um, repeat observations and human error uh, as being the cause of uh, deviations and just retraining people. Because in this case, I had a wonderful operator. Um, I didn't know it at the time. When I started, I started to look through the deviations um, just to familiarize myself with the organizational structure, what was going on, what kind of investigations did we have. And I noticed that this one operator, Jose, had like 30 uh, deviations tied to him with a specific product that um, he worked on as, as an operator. And other employees worked on it too. But Jose had this deviation. He wasn't signing the batch record at a certain point in time during the manufacturing. And as I read the deviations and the, the 30 deviations were over a period of six months, months, which to me was a lot. And as I read the deviations, what I found out was they just chalked it up to Jose um, forgetting to sign the batch record. And so they retrained him all the time. So I called in the staff and I said, what's going on with Jose? Is he capable of doing this job? He seems to have this repeat uh, violation. You keep retraining him. He keeps repeating it. And we're just, we're not getting anywhere with solving the problem. And they said, oh, no, no, he's a great operator. He's very conscientious. We love him. He, he has great aseptic technique. Um, so he's great. He just has problems with this you know, one issue. So I, I wasn't satisfied. And I went to talk to Jose. He was a second shift employee. And I sat him down and I said, what's going on? And he said, well, Sue, um, you know, I've tried to tell people that this is a poorly designed batch record, that in order for me to sign the batch record at the time that they want me to sign it, I have to go, I have to leave the product alone, running in the aseptic core, degown, go sign the batch record, come back in, regown. In the meantime, the product, nobody's really watching the product. And so I choose to stay with the product and then I, at the end of the run, I try to remember to sign the batch record, but I sometimes forget. And I said, okay, so it's not human error. It's not retraining Jose. It's a poorly designed batch record. But Jose didn't feel that when he was trying to explain this to people that he was being listened to. So there wasn't an open culture. People weren't receptive to the information that Jose was trying to give them. What I want you to really think about though, is the Jose was not the only person who worked on this product. So what about the rest of the people? There's your data integrity, right? What, were, what was everybody else doing? Were they leaving the product alone? Were they um, just, nobody else is bringing it up. And so that's, if you don't have that open culture, if you're not encouraging people to speak up and you're not listening to them, you do not have a good quality culture. 